Well, the Trump administration is calling for a quick and peaceful conclusion to the unrest in Venezuela. Come on in. John Bolton, former U.S. ambassador to the U.N. and Fox News contributor. What, what do you say on that? Uh, the, the, the likelihood is that somehow what's happening in Venezuela could end peacefully. I've always said, with all due respect to Ma uh, Margaret Thatcher, the final act in socialism isn't running out of other people's money, but typically blood straight in the streets. Well, I'm afraid they may be getting close to that. Look, the Maduro regime is uh, very unsteady. If you thought his predecessor, Hugo Chavez, was kind of the clown prince of dictators, Maduro's uh, a second-class follow-up act. But the fact is, Venezuela's political institutions, social institutions, have been unraveling for a long time, and uh, the judiciary has been owned by the uh, Chavez-Maduro regime. The military is uncertain. The, the opposition has had great difficulty in uniting against uh, Chavez and Maduro. So I'm very afraid that there, there's a, it's hard to see how a, an orderly, peaceful transition of power would uh, take place. But I have to say, even if the opposition were able to get power, it's not at all clear that they see a path toward governing. The Chavez-Maduro uh, junta has really, uh, they have underinvested in Venezuela's petroleum industry. They left the economy a wreck. Things are in bad shape kind of across the board there. Right, and to your point, as they were doing all of that underinvesting, they were hiking dramatically, pay for police and, and the army uh, for the last several years, perhaps anticipating at some point it, it could come to them, them versus us. What about the, uh, the idea, is there anything that America can do? Is there any way we can intervene? I mean, this is our neighbor, it's, it's a frightening situation, and we used to be a big part of Venezuela's economy. Well, it's hard to see how we could get involved in a way that wouldn't become public, uh, Maduro wouldn't use against the opposition. I mean, uh, just as, a, as an example, some years back they purchased hundreds of thousands of M-16s from Russia, far more than the army could possibly use, and uh, all the reports are they were distributed to the, uh, to the peasantry in Venezuela, which Chavez and Maduro had been buying off with bread and circuses for a long time. So I think the best we can probably do is, is quietly be saying to the opposition, look, we're with you. Whatever we can do, once you take power to help stabilize the situation to prevent a, uh, an attempted coup by uh, the displaced army or police uh, when that right. happens, I think that's probably the best we can do at this point. Ambassador, I'm not sure if you saw this, Hillary Clinton tweeting after the Macron victory in France. I want you to take a look at it. It's, it's tweet goes, victory from Macron, uh, French, the French, the EU, and the world, defeat for those interfering with democracy, quote, uh, a parenthesis, uh, but uh, the media says, I can't talk about that. <laughs> what, what do you think she's getting at there? I'm not, I wasn't sure what that was all about. Well, now you're asking me to psychoanalyze <laughs> Hillary Clinton, which is, which is pretty, pretty fearsome, I must say. The best I can do, Charles, and it's a guess, is I think she may be referring to the reports that uh, the Russians have tried to interfere in the French elections a few days before the election on Sunday. The Macron campaign said they had been subject to a massive right. uh, hack. Uh, we don't really know the details because under French law, there's supposed to be a period of quiet, uh, three days before the election, no campaigning, no polling, no press commentary. So it's really unclear exactly what happened. But, but I think that may be it because of Hillary's uh, blaming the Russians for her defeat in our election. Or maybe she was blaming the FBI director. She was blaming somebody. It certainly wasn't her fault. We know that. Yeah, well, that's for sure. Ambassador, thank you as usual. Really appreciate it. Glad to be with you. <laughs>